Here we are back in the horror games. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh. <coughs> Welcome back to uh, another edition of Mike, yeah. uh, Marsh, Mike, and up. Cosplay, as I am the main player. Welcome back to another edition of Dead Space, and uh, we have yeah. a third. We have a fourth person. We have a fourth person. Our sorry here. Our special guest, a longtime friend of ours, an avid gamer, Shane Camp. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, so why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, what your likes, dislikes, and do you like walks on the beach? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is the last token gaming dating game. Like, who's behind door number three? Oh, <laughs> tell damn. us about yourself. <laughs> well, let me tell you about walks on the beach. I like, <laughs> I like walks on the beach in June. I like walks on the beach in December. <laughs> but I hate fall. I you hate fall. fall. If you take me drunk fall, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> All right, so. Although November is fine. In November, right. I, November's okay. Right now, Leon in Candy November, is going diving. On the beach naked. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. well, the um, beach at night is really nice, though. No I, oh, I, I kind of forgot where. Yeah, what, what are we doing now? <laughs> um. Well, we finished uh, chapter one, so we're somewhere into chapter two. That was my dish. An amazing you. frat party happened here. I hear lots of buzzing. Yeah, those are flies. Not yep. the bees. Not the bees! Not the bees! Oh, Just, actually, so yeah, host? how do they get flies in here? Because, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about, like, when it comes to, like, space travel and Right, how do flies... And... God, okay, now we're about to get into... If you remember our last episode, we got a little carried away with, like... Yeah. Oh, because... oh shit. Oh. Uh -oh. Hey, look! It's a layers friend, of fear. My friend. <laughs> hey, yeah. I can't sure remember her number. I can't remember yeah. her number. Hey, <laughs> Pay respects with that. Oh no, you're kicking him. <laughs> hey, you oh, okay? You okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take that. That goes his head. I just. It's just so weird, like, I never did that in my previous playthroughs, but now I'm just like, eh, it's look, there's hey. a <laughs> Hey, buddy. It's okay. Hi. She'll call you back. <laughs> Hopefully she's dead, and you can both be together wherever you can. In space. <laughs> you could be in dead space. In oh, the shit. space uh. afterlife. Oh, hello. That looked friendly. Mm. Oh, God. There's more than one thing. Oh. Hey. Oh, I think I saw that in that weird James Bond game. Uh, that guy flies in the nuclear sub or something. He's... What game is this? Oh, it was an N64 game. It was um, based off a of movie. It was, but like, it's N64 and trying to make it not too hard. So he's like really slowly Shit. swimming in Shit. the neutronium. Come on, bro! Oh! Mm. Don't, don't, don't. I only, I only like uh, wait. Yeah. I was that, older than Goldeneye, what was the other game Bond game that was on N64? Uh, The World is Not Enough. Uh, which is pretty damn good, actually. I got that at Sack Gamers Expo. That's one of those rare games, but I think it was overshadowed by Goldeneye. The World is Not Enough, it's not yeah. yet right. It's actually really good, but yeah, it's just not Goldeneye. Just not Goldeneye. Yeah. I had a really awful rip of the two. That's like, that's not, it sounds like that Goldeneye remake. Anybody, did, anybody, did anybody actually play that? I know. I remember like being kind of interested, like really interested when it was announced, and then I just like never played it. I know. Yeah. I feel. I, but I feel like if it was actually as good as it was, it probably they probably did something to the game mechanics of how things function. Like, I'm just thinking back to how when games are re-released, you lose all the speed running options because usually they fix some glitch that was really fun. I'm just imagining something that was a gameplay glitch that. Now people can't do like, for example, like, ob job is like now slower or something. <laughs> Could you even still play as ob job in the new remake? Uh, yes. I <laughs> if you so. can't play as ob job, then what's the point? I mean, I I, I know that like playing as ob job is like uh, satanic and awful and terrible, and you're a horrible person. To be Actually, with. I found out that where did his leg? Oh, there it's okay. That like I saw you dismembered them, but I was wondering where they actually went. It was like one of those gaming websites. They were actually talking about the character that's worse than. <laughs> oh my job. gosh! It's Fallout Three body parts everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody mess. <laughs> oh shit! Oh hello. <laughs> uh, Whew. We good with the audio? 
Yeah, we're good. Okay. But um, I remember there was this like one website that was like talking about the character in Goldeneye that was worse than Odd Job, and it was actually the Snow Guard. Oh, because, because he blends in. Yeah, he blends yeah. in at almost you know, every place, and it's like you can't really see him until like he starts shooting at you. That's yeah. such a good point, especially with the pixeling. Because because <laughs> you know I never found Odd Job too hard unless you were doing slappers only. Yeah. But like if you're if, if you have like if you have like actual. Like, you know, guns and everything. It seems like it's pretty... What, what did that just say? Wellness? Yeah. You know, Kaiser's oh, got yeah, this thing going. going. Shit! No, he's inside. Shit! He's good. Okay. He's good. Kaiser, die well, die out. I don't know. That was a fail. Shit! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whew! You're a cruel morph. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Shit, he's still alive! Oh my god! Is he missing his head? Does Isaac have like a wrench he can smack that guy with, or some sort of a melee thing? Huh. I always thought that'd be cool to, to to do, like in Resident Evil 4s, if you could upgrade your melee weapon to oh, like yeah. something to like something awesome, because then then he could just use like like a fucking machete with like. Because it's not like he doesn't find those sort of things. Like thousands of villagers will walk in and be like, ah, oh, we've got all kinds of cutlery. And he doesn't pick any of them up. Yeah, he's just like, whatever. But he'll be like, hmm, this plant? I need to eat this plant. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Priorities. Or, I don't know, I remember, remember, I think we brought it up in our Resident Evil playthrough. There was like all those halberds on the wall of the castle. And yeah. he never thought to go, hey, Ashley, hold that. And just use it when you need to. <laughs> yeah. It's like... I have a big problem with like that kind of stuff as... Just all the time. I just observe so many fascinating details, and then I become aware of the details, and like, wait, why can't I interact with this? <laughs> I like, I see like a kitchen sink, and I see like a little soap packet, and I'm like, oh, why can't I throw the soap packet across the room? It's like, <laughs> why do I have to wash my hands? <laughs> and, then, uh, and then I'm just thinking, are you sure that was a video game and not you yeah. in the oh, bathroom? Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is a great part. Uh oh. Zero gravity. Use refill casters. This is such a cool part. Zero. Oh yeah. Or your zero sound because you're out. Yeah, space. it reminds me of Mass Effect Two. Yeah, beginning. Mm. Wow. Ooh. I thought if he opened. Hey, aren't it you up... gonna show it? Come on, that's a cool thing. We're. Sp oh well, we are supposed to play it. Yeah. <laughs> God, I, I actually thought... tried. Oh oh oh. Okay. Zero kick in. Can we turn it up a bit? Kick in your teeth. Thank you. Okay, this is one of the best. The, I kept promising all these great parts, you know, after I was lumbering around in the first few episodes. Dig it, baby. Zero gravity. This part is so much goddamn fun. Fun, quote unquote. Whee! Oh, yeah. <clears throat> that was a major flip, man. Alright, Q2001. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, this reminds me of the uh, last boss in House of the Ten Three. House of the Ten. I know, what an obscure reference right there. No, no. I mean, I, I, would, I was under the impression there was never a, there was never another like stage in gaming quite like this. This is a really this is one of the levels that really impressed me, and it really makes me think Dead Space is pretty unique in the horror the horror gaming lineage. Um, I can't think of another game where you can jump around in zero gravity like this. It's fun. Well, there was that game Dark Void. Um, I don't know anyone personally who's played it. Alright. That was the only other game supposed to offer, like, uh, So what are you angle. supposed to do? I am going it's to... supposed to be cool! That's what it's supposed to be! Yeah, yeah. that's right! <laughs> So why is it that you're sticking to the wall stuff? So this is zero gravity. Why? Like, is it just yeah. magnetic or something? Yeah, it's most mag. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's magnetic. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. You know, science facts. My right? God, game designers, don't you know science? <laughs> mm. Science. Science. Behold. Let's see here, where am I supposed to go? Oh, I thought it'd be where's cool. That, like, uh, where's that? Uh, yeah. Laser oh, thing? the laser. Yeah, let's not forget the laser. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're not gonna reprise that to all of our viewers that uh, 
Oh, yeah, it's going more. And more. Yeah. Is it bouncing everywhere? I know. I, it's I, trying to handle the end directional axis and be like, okay, fly up there, walk five feet. Now. Okay. Oh, okay. No, I know. Okay. Yeah, it's like it, it's serious. Well, let me get back on the wall. <laughs> now walk diagonally upwards that way. At the roundabout, take the third exit. <laughs> you have arrived at your destination on the left. Arrived. That's arrived. Like, <laughs> uh, we went. Uh, arrived. Arrived. Four <laughs> miles to destination. <laughs> Shane, Michael, and I went uh, apartment hunting today, and we got a kick out of uh, our uh, my phone's directional voice, just saying arrived. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It doesn't even tell you how to get there. We, we were arrived. talking like, what if, what if, like, your your the voice in your phone could like, ins- you yeah. Wait a minute. Why did I? Is he? Wait a minute. Right. Yeah. Wait. What? I mean, it is. Laser symmetry got a certain amount of symmetry. Oh yeah, it is. You are going back. That's weird. Well, there well, you then go. Why people. did I need to? There's a second view of it. That's are you going to cool, use your laser huh? again, or are we going to need to just? Pretty cool, huh, Marie? Yeah, record it. Check it. Oh, hey, it is making us go back. That's weird. So there was no reason to be there. Then why did it? <laughs> All Wait, of a sudden, you way? do the laser, and it just yeah. spells out because I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> just. Because it you're a fucking, because you're a dumb shit. <laughs> then you're just like, huh. Because you're a bag of shit. Bag of shit. Another yeah, one of shit. our uh, inside jokes from today.